Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. My name is Yoya Aurelia and I'm here to do your November reading with the tarot. And I'm going to lay out the card across for you. So if your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus sign is in Gemini, this is the right video for you. Also, welcome to all the cross watchers. Remember, this is a general reading. You might want to check out your other placements as well. Right. So what are the energies for Gemini? Let's start with a pre-shuffling here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There's quite a big uh, shift here. Or I, f I, f I f actually feel like you are basically torn or drawn. Now, how do you say that? There is a push and pull between lack mentality and abundance. And it feels like you, I mean, when I see this, the first thing that comes to mind is that you're working yourself out of a lack mentality and you already are more in the energy of the 10 of pentacles, more and more. But then again, you fall back onto this lack. Um, that could obviously mean something in finances and business. It could also be something in love and relationships. But I feel like there's some sort of push and pull energy between lack and um, abundance, pretty much. Right. Oh, let's do that again. <laughs> right. Okay. Hmm, but you got some ideas here. It feels like you are very inspired. You got new ideas. There's maybe new inspiration of how to like now once and for all get out of that lack mentality. Um there is an exciting new opportunity or new beginning, but it kind of like has to do with yourself. It does more feel like there is an opportunity that you create. That works better. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, hmm, yeah, with the page showing up here, there could also be someone who um, offers you something. There might be the cup of love that is being offered to you, the cup of love or friendship. Uh, there might be a conversation or a message coming in here with this um, page of cups that is, I feel like there is something, if this is a message coming in from someone else, it's a very sweet message, it's a very kind, loving message, it could be the beginning of a love relationship or a love connection or maybe a new beginning within a connection, if this is about, um, if this is about uh, more like the relationship side of things. Um, very very sweet energy here and i feel like you're gonna feel inspired you have new ideas you have new creative ideas but also for everybody who this is more talking about finances and and business there could be a very beautiful opportunity coming in for you um, but again, it feels like you create this opportunity. It's not just like you sit on the sofa and do nothing and suddenly opportunity knocks on the door. This is not what I feel. It feels like something that you actually create. So you take, you, you use the energies, you're starting to manifest something here. Um, what else? I, I do feel like you are having some sort of dreams and visions when it comes to achieving your goal of abundance when it comes to you uh, that could literally mean envisioning yourself obviously in the energy of abundance which is also something that the uh, page could stand for having ideas having thoughts daydreams visions about the future for some of you this could be about pregnancy and a child um, as the ace of of wands could be basically getting pregnant and the page of cups could be a child as well. So maybe there's something connected to a child energy where there's something of lack and abundance, yes and no, or feeling quite torn between two, I would say almost maybe extremes or two point of views. Okay. Wow, okay, we do have decision time here, justice at the bottom of the deck. So there's a very important decision for you. And what's now important to do for you is to re not reevaluate, but to evaluate the situation in terms of using all that you are uh, all the informations that are available to you and then to judge the situation and make the right decision. 
Um, so it's, it's, it feels like even though we had the page of cups here with which is emotions, it does feel like there's some sort of decision where you need to use your rational mind, some sort of decisions where decision where it is important to judge a situation rationally, neutrally, um, being emotionally a bit distant and just being like, okay, I'm observing now the facts and the situation and therefore I made this decision. This is how it feels like. Um, this decision, sorry, I why I have so many issues saying the word decision in English is, uh, uh, anyway, so decision, um, it feels like this is a decision that has long-term consequences. So it seems like a very, uh, important decision here, but there are good news coming in main energy of the month, the four of, um, once four of ones could literally mean a wedding so maybe there are some sort of plans of okay i get okay hold on a second there are more information coming in it could be a wedding it could mean that you and your partner take your relationship to the next step it might literally be that good news are coming in within the family or good family news coming in there could be a party or an event also, if this is more related to work, it could be a collaboration. That was the other thing that straight away came in. Collaboration, collaboration. Uh, so good news coming in with some sort of collaboration here in your business life or for everybody of you who more sees that um, manifesting in business and uh, therefore finances. But a very beautiful energy. It feels like a very, I mean, the this is an energy where you are social where other people play a part here as well it's not the energy of oh yeah i withdraw and i'm just like the hermit energy uh this is the energy um that sharing your success or sharing um sharing good news or other people sharing good news with you or something's gonna happen where like i said this is time to celebrate a very positive month here <sighs> what did i just say what did i just say Oh, I knew it. I wish I would have said it before. We do have the blocking energy or the challenging energy is ta -da, the hermit. Exactly, exactly what I said. It's not going to be, it's not the time I feel like for you to withdraw and be on your own and be alone and take time for introspection, even though that is obviously the time we're moving into with November. But no, no, no. Other, it feels like it's important in this month to to not withdraw, to be social and open because it seems like there's something really good coming in connected to some sort of news and celebration here. So not the time to withdraw, not the time to just disconnect. Um, maybe that is a challenge. Maybe you want to do it, but actually the energies are like, no, no, no. Gemini, this month is a month of uh, being social and connecting with people and all of that uh, in some shape or form. Uh, don't hold yourself back, don't hold your light back, don't uh, show yourself, share yourself. Um, obviously there might be in a quite um, literal sense when it comes to business and finances, going out there, connecting with people, maybe through uh, YouTube, etc. Don't hold back your light, don't withdraw. Uh, what happened in your past? Um, give and take balance, something connected to your give and take balance. It could have been something coming in for you that was like a push, like something that really helped. Um, this is the, the energy of someone who's very helpful, helping you out with money. So it might be that money came in um, that helped you here create whatever you are creating at the moment um, or made you a little bit more relaxed because um, obviously that would be something that happens when you get money. Um, on the other side, maybe you could help someone in the recent past and that leads to the positive news. It's, it's in some shape or form, I feel like either someone could help you, you could have helped someone, or maybe you have received some sort of money that helped you to create the circumstances that are now in November, bringing in the good news. So that's a really beautiful energy. Um, also, this is the energy that helps you to get out of lack. So especially with, um, it could be good advice. It doesn't always need to be finances or someone giving you something in the physical. In the physical, obviously this is a pentacle. So it could be something that has been given to you in the physical. Um, but I also sometimes see this as someone could help you in a way with advice. 
um, yeah so really beautiful energy in the past um, that is connected to this push and pull helping you to get out of lack mentality helping you to get into abundance um, and I also feel like I mean even though we do have the energy of the four of wands here which is celebration being social sharing a light it feels like with this balance coming in more calmness is coming in um more relaxation is coming in let's have a look into your thoughts oh my god gemini typical you worry too much you just worry too much this is an energy of uh, going around in circles can't sleep at night um so it feels like this is something you really need to work on here because obviously that is holding you back a little bit i would say stop thinking so much uh, not that i can do this very well uh, so it's also a big lesson for me um, and obviously you're gemini so gemini mercury that's like all up in the head but there's something it feels like you're worrying about and i do feel like the first energy i get in is you worry too much with this good news coming in maybe it is the worry of oh my god i just want to withdraw i just want to be with myself and i can't because i'm sharing myself or there is this maybe party or event uh going um, going to happen here uh, something connected like I said to being social in a way and you just want to withdraw this is not possible and you're like oh my god and then starting to create stories in your mind this is what it feels like um, trust the divine on the emotional side I do feel like you're very much spiritually orientated um, spiritually religious whatever there uh, suits you probably more spiritually if you watch this video uh, anyway so uh, we do have the energy that I I feel like you are trusting the universe uh, you come more and more into the energies of really trusting uh, your soul's plan your guidance um, your spirit guides and I do feel like you're gonna work a lot actually what I'm getting here is that you're gonna work a lot in the month of November um, with spirituality with your spirit guides in order to get out of this energy get out of the worry and i also feel like it's, it's just hurt it's unnecessary you just make your life harder it's unnecessary just trust here the divine we're very beautiful i have to say for everybody who is in a relationship this might connect to a marriage <laughs> as we do have two marriage cards here so um yeah time of being alone is off. time of being alone is over marriage time is on so all right let, let's go deeper into it or let's let's see how everything is going to develop what is coming towards you and there you go there you have your time out resting spiritual practices again also a theme that comes up now twice so meditation um, I do get for some of you traditional approaches to spiritual routines practices ceremonies um, it, it's m maybe some of you looking into something like Tai Chi like those maybe martial arts in order to relax I know it's a time out it's a resting energy but I kind of like get the vibe that um, I do get the vibe that there is something that is very traditional or maybe some sort of traditional teaching which obviously could this mean uh, the Hierophant as well so for some of you this is about what's coming towards you definitely a time of relaxation um, a time of taking time for yourself to nurture yourself to do things more like meditation etc all the things that um, give you stability because the four four is a stable card so having mental stability having uh, stability within yourself because you feel recovered you feel rejuvenated and that might I really get this strong sense of you want to dive deeper into some sort of traditional um, approach towards spirituality uh, your practices your like like there's some sort of ancient knowledge some sort of and it might just relate to a few of you here but it feels like there's something to an ancient tradition 
uh, that is coming up here that is helping you on your path of spiritual and personal development. Um, but if at the moment you worry too much because you think, oh, I don't have time for myself, I don't really have the time to um, be with myself and my thoughts that are just spinning around at the moment, I don't know if you want to be alone with your thoughts at the moment, but you're going to get the time to relax definitely in the near future. So just enjoy everything that's happening and stop worrying too much here. Your energy, uh, the energy of independence. So um, it might be that you are really giving in now into your life, the energy of I want to I wanna harvest those fruits I have worked for so long. Um, so it does feel like a beautiful energy of abundance that you are moving into more. Um, this it's it's funny because this is literally the first thing that I got like I want to harvest my fruits now I'm so tired of staying in this lack energy here and I want to move into this now and that's the energy that you bring into the mix again it might be a very um an energy of I'm I'm independent um I mm, I mean could be a single vibe of course as well uh, but we do have strong energy of um of marriage here for some of you um but I also feel like you're going to enjoy life and also with the four of uh, ones here, four of ones, nine of pentacles, it's all the energies. Um, oh, I see where this is coming from. It's the energy of enjoying life. And I have the feeling that part of your worry is that you fall back into this lack because it seemed like you were basically struggling, playing a bit of ping pong with yourself with lack and abundance, lack and abundance. And I feel like the energies are actually quite beautiful, but it also feels like, um, one part of your overthinking is the fear of falling back into lack uh, when you've just started to enjoy life. Um, maybe not started to enjoy life, maybe that was a little bit much, but yeah, that's what I'm getting here. The energies of a specific person or your environment. Success here. Uh, well, maybe something is moving forward in your environment. Maybe something is changing in your environment. It could be some sort of move, travel, um that kind of stuff if this is about work i would say the energies in work are very like moving forward successfully um move forward with confidence so that's all really good if there is another person in your life who this connects to i would say this person moves forward with confidence and it's a strong support here when it comes to success and victory in your life may that be connected to work, might that be connected to finances or um, your home life and your relationships. So if this is the person here that uh, you might be in a relationship with, then I would say this person is very focused, very strong headed and is moving successfully and confidently. Do you say that? I think that means something different and moves with confidence into the future with you. And it's like, yeah, that's the, the right direction. So I feel like Anyway, this is a very positive influence that is also helping you to move forward, to take the next step or maybe the next, I don't know, several steps here. Um, right, let's look into your hopes and fears. Mm, something from the past. There's something connected either to your childhood, to children or to some sort of nostalgia, memories, memory lane, basically from the past so um, it feels like you decide if that is a fear of you that something or someone from the past is coming back maybe you're hoping for someone or something from the past is coming back or this is like I said connected somehow that you have some sort of hopes when it comes to children or your childhood that might bring something up that is connected to something that you're hoping for that you're wishing for um, next card shows us the development of everything and three of cups. Now three of cups is a beautiful energy because that shows me the whole situation is moving forward exactly as it already is because the three of cups and the four of ones is a very similar energy of celebration and enjoying life. I feel like I'm going to have a month full of celebration of uh, like I said, it's also a social card here, being social, meeting people, showing yourself, sharing yourself, sharing your emotions, your thoughts, your feelings with other people, sharing a good time with other people, however you decide to do that, and may that be in private or business life. Um, it's a card of celebration and joy. What can I say? Um, really beautiful energies. 
uh, with the four of the ones which we start in here going to the four of swords which means you're going to have a bit more time to relax soon and then it goes straight away back into celebration mode oh and let's not forget the justice underneath so a very important decision here I mean obviously that might be why you are a bit worried here as well I do feel like the worries are connected to a couple of things um, one thing is I feel like the whole lack and uh, abundance energy and fear of falling back when you basically are just starting to I mean that's just, this is what I'm getting take um, take it as it resonates but when you're just starting to actually be like yes I'm enjoying my life um, like I said, a very important decision here for the future needs to be made as well. This is what I got for you. If you resonate with the reading, please leave a like, a comment or subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.